With Enfraco, you can build a website that fits your every need. It's both very flexible and extensible, which means that you can customize it however you like. My name is Sophie, and in this chapter, I'll take you through the steps of creating an Umbraco website. We'll be covering all the basic fundamental steps you go through when you create a website from scratch. And you will learn all the essentials for working with Umbraco CMS. Now, before we dive into it, let's take a peek at the website we'll be building in this tutorial and how it'll look once we're done setting it all up. So what we have here is the front page of the website we'll be building. It has a Jumbotron up here, some content, some images, some blog posts here, call to action, and a footer with a bunch of links. Now up here in the menu bar, let's have a look. We also have some content pages, again just with some text and images. Then we have a block section over here, which has a featured blog post up here, and a list of latest blog posts. Let's take a look at one of them. Here we are. That's how a blog post is going to look. We'll also be setting up a contact us page with a static HTML form and some text over here. And finally, we'll be creating a team page with a grid containing images and some text as well. All right, let's take a quick look at the back office as well. So you can see here in our content section our various content notes. So let's have a look at a few of them. We'll have our welcome page, for example, here, our front page. It's very, some various groups here. And our block area down here, which will act as a collection of blog posts. Now, in this chapter, we'll be doing most of our work in the settings section that you can find up here. This is where we have all our document types that define what type of content we can create in the content section. And down here, you will find templates, which is what we will be working on to set up our front end. Now, let's head back to the front end real quick again. We'll go here. So, for the design and structure of this website, I'll be using an HTML template. Throughout this chapter, I'll be referring to it as either the HTML template or the custom template in the description for this video or in the documentation section if you're watching on Umbraco TV, you'll find a link to the custom Umbraco HTML template I'll be using. You can of course use any HTML template you prefer, I've put a link in the description to where you can get your hands on some pretty great templates. Alright, a quick overview of what we'll be covering in this chapter. First things first. We'll need an Umbraco project for building this website, so that's the very first thing I'll show you how to get. Then we'll move on to setting up the Umbraco backoffice, so we can get our first piece of content out. For that we will of course also need to set up the structure of our website, which we'll do next. Then after that we'll work a bit more with templates, to make sure our content is rendered out the way we want. After repeating those steps some more, and expanding on our website, I'll show you some of the cool features that make Umbraco so flexible. We'll cover compositions, collections and queries. And we'll also briefly talk about some of the more advanced features like nested content and the grid editor. Sounds like a lot? Don't worry. We'll take it slow and I'll explain the concepts as we go along. For each video in this chapter, you'll be able to find links to more resources about the concepts I cover. So I strongly encourage that you follow those if you want more in-depth knowledge. In many cases, you will also be able to get the code snippets I'll be working with. Those will be available in the documentation section for each video. Okay, a final note. I'll be working with an Umbraco Cloud project throughout this chapter. However, I will not be covering details on how to work with Cloud, as we already have a bunch of material on that. There will be links below this video to our Umbraco Cloud section on the documentation and on Umbraco TV. Now, enough babbling. First up on our Umbraco journey, I'll show you how to set up an Umbraco project. That was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.